Hey everyone, welcome back to today's HRV day. So welcome back. I want to introduce to you some new technology. I've talked about heart rate variability before and previously it was within the context of Weltery. Uh, it's a great free app and it gives you that day-to-day -day snapshot of your dashboard of how your heart rate variability is doing. And just for a quick recap, your heart rate variability is a snapshot of your autonomic nervous system. Autonomic nervous system is in a sense controlled by cranial nerve 10. Cranial nerve 10 is actually attached to your diaphragm. What that means is you can control your fight or flight response. You can control your rest and digest response through cranial nerve 10 via the diaphragm. So if you create a breathing practice, if you begin to develop a breathing practice, that means that you'll be able to um, get ready for uh, you know a very stressful event, a, a speech, a presentation, or even a you know, sports activity. You can also get ready for bed, uh, calm your central nervous system down, calm your autonomic nervous system down, create a, a sense of relaxation and peace, de-stress simply through a breathing practice. So the Weltery app is that day-to-day -day snapshot of your heart rate variability, how you're doing overall. But with Welt, uh, not with Weltery, with HeartMath, the big difference is this is a real-time view. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'll pull this back here. And you can see this is biofeedback. This is moment-by-moment, real-time uh, view of how you're how you're training your heart rate variability, how you're training your autonomic nervous system. And so you can see here, I started out in the red. I started out um, with, with very little heart rate variability, a low degree of heart rate variability. And then as I pressed into my breathing practice, it slowly became blue. And then eventually I was, I was in the green zone, which means that I had achieved a, a reasonably high state of coherence. I, have, I had coupled my, my uh, moment to moment uh, breathing with my heart rate. And so this is, if I press play, this is what it looks like. And so you can see, this is my heart rate variability up here. There's a nice um, oscillation. Uh, there's a nice wave going on there. You can see uh, I lose track a little bit right there, but overall this is green all the way around. Now, if I take this through here, this is another uh, screenshot. And you can see this is, this is what my breath should look like. This is the, the pace of my breath, inhale and exhale. I've actually sped this up uh, partially so that you don't get bored. Remember, this breath is supposed to be uh, a six second cycle. This down here, you can see how I had uh, achieved a good state of coherence here. So my heart rate variability is, is pretty well on track. I drop down a little bit. Maybe I get, I get distracted here. Maybe something distracts me. Maybe it's something I'm thinking about, or I can hear something in the other room. And then um, you gradually pull your way back up. Okay, so you get an idea of what heart math actually is. If I come back here, and what you'll see is this is your breathing pacer. And again, this is sped up uh, so that you can kind of um, see how this works. Uh, it, usually goes a lot more slowly. I have to, you have to slow your breathing down in order to get the full, full benefits. But you can see how this kind of expands and contracts, expands and contracts. Sorry, I'm gonna pull that back there so you can see a, a few more cycles of that. That is my breathing pace. So exhale, and then as you see that expand, that's my inhale. Um, and there's a lot of green here. I had a really good session today. I got plenty of sleep, eating pretty well, taking pretty good care of myself. But I wanted to show you another session where things didn't go so well. So when I go back here, uh, at the very end, I was only uh, I was only at one percent in the low um, heart rate variability category. So uh, I spent about 10, 11 percent of my time in the uh, medium category, and I had high coherence rate for eighty eight percent of the time. Pretty good session overall. You can also see down here as I'm scrolling through that that wave looks really nice and even overall for most of the session. But if I show you another session that did not go so well, look how low that that wave is down there and look how much time I spent in the red zone. So this is no kidding. This is real time biofeedback that allows you to see how you're doing, to see how uh, how well you're controlling your uh, your stress level and um, training that that real time biofeedback allows you to deepen your breathing practice. So. So again, uh, high coherence, you can see how how large those waves are there and coming over here. Not a good day, very stressful day. Uh, didn't sleep well the night before, very low coherence, very small waves, and a lot of time in the red zone. So there you have it. Now you have two ways to monitor, track, and even train your own heart rate variability, train your own fight or flight versus rest and digest response. So Weltery is the free app that gives you that day-to-day -day, uh, snapshot of your autonomic nervous system, really powerful information that allows you to uh, decide how to, how to better adjust your day and your schedule. Uh, and then, of course, if you if you want to really deepen your breathing practice and create that that coherence for the autonomic nervous system, now you have heart math. Uh, you can look that up online, and it, the, the app is free, but you do need the the attachment that goes with it that allows you to monitor your heart rate variability in real time. Again, very affordable though, and a great way to begin uh, getting control of your stress response and how you even respond to the rest of the day. So, I hope that was helpful. I would love to hear your questions about this. Uh, but uh, there you have it, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.